I'm going to take a twin size sheet here and fold it in half and in half again and eventually get down to an eighth or a piece or a small triangle that represents an eighth of our overall piece of fabric. And what I'm going to do with that is make a kaleidoscope. Taking my wide long area and going end to end and then I'm going to fold that in half from top to bottom. And then what I'm working with is one quarter of my overall piece of fabric at this point. I'm going to clean that up nice. So what I have in my right hand, which you see on your left side, is actually the center of our piece of fabric at this point. I'm going to clean that up a little bit before I spray it down. This sheet, this uh, twin size sheet here has been pre-washed and scoured so it's ready to be dyed. But I'm just going to add a little bit of water so the layers of fabric stick together as in our other pieces. Let's go ahead and take this quarter of our piece here, this quarter piece, and we'll make a triangle. This is my center of fabric. And there we have one eighth. So this piece right here is eight layers thick of fabric and reflected eight times will create a beautiful kaleidoscope in a circle, which we're going to do now. But first we'll add a little more water so the layers stick nicely. And let's make a nice ring with our heat transfer pencil, which represents the ring around the kaleidoscope. So that small arc reflected eight more times will create a beautiful circle ring. And in order to make it easier, in order to make it a little easier to make my accordion fold, I'm going to add a little more water in the area of my accordion fold so the layers of fabric will stick together quite nicely. And let's get this fold along this arc and make that look as close as we can to a straight line. Doing this kaleidoscope pattern as an eighth instead of a sixteenth allows me to get a little bit cleaner in my folding. I'm able to work the little bit smaller accordion fold here. I'll bring that in. You can always lift your fabric up off, off the, from draping off the table if, you, if it begins to get a little heavy. And I'll just manually fold that one at the end. And before I do anything, I'm going to tie that up. So now our nice pinkish red arc line is now a straight line. I'm going to go ahead and tie this, this arc line into a relatively straight line here. And that, that, and that reflected eight times is going to create our beautiful circle ring around our kaleidoscope. Let me go in and clean up some of this, these folds that have kind of popped up. And then I can bind my ring with string to keep it together. Now here I'm going to do a couple color bands around my kaleidoscope. So I'm working with the end of the fabric or the top and bottom on the shorter side. Now let's go ahead and tie a few bands, a few color bands around there. Our string is being used to hold the fabric together as well as to give us an idea where we're going to put our color. As you pull the fabric closer together, it has a natural tendency to, to begin to pop up. So just pop it back down. And you may have to do that when you get ready to, to do the dyeing on this piece. All right, so we just did three color bands. I'm going to take the round side of my fork here and poke it into the fabric a little bit to straighten that up, just to keep it all rel relatively level. And then I'm going to wrap my string around another time. All right, let's get on to our kaleidoscope. So we now have three color, three bands color that's going to go around our kaleidoscope. Now, a little bit more fabric to work with here as we're working on an eighth versus a sixteenth. 
I've added a little bit of water to this fabric just so it'll stick together a little better. And I'm going to take a, a pinch here and fold it up right up to the ring. So I have a nice pinch of fabric folded over. And what that, what's going to happen there is if I go, if I fold an accordion fold at my angle, I'm going to create a kaleidoscopic reflection on fabric. Let's take that in there. And then we'll fold this one up onto itself. Here's my color rings. Here's my lightning fabric folded up onto itself. I'm going to fold an accordion fold about 45 degrees for my rainbow bands which go around the kaleidoscope. Right about there. I'll go ahead and draw that on my fabric just so you can see that by doing an accordion fold. It's a little bit tricky the first few times, but as long as you get that right angle and tie it up, you will get the kaleidoscope. And then it's just a matter of a little bit of practice. Okay, so what you're looking at is basically some bound, some scrunched fabric, which looks very rough, but actually when we get our color bands and bind that together, which we're going to do right now, it'll allow it to take shape as a kaleidoscope. When I first, when I first developed this, this design, it was actually a design that came to me during the night when I was sleeping. And I figured out how I would do this just by incorporating a kind of lightning fold into the center of an earth. But it was a quite an interesting experience to do it in your subconscious in the middle of the night. <laughs> and it's just ever since it's been a really nice pattern to fold. Originally I called this pattern smokestack lightning because it looked like a kaleidoscopic smokestack and also reminding me of the Grateful Dead song called Smokestack Lightning, an old blues song. Bind up my center a little bit better. Cut my string and tie it up. Alright, let me show you what we have here. Well, we have this, this central area. We're going to put a color here in each of these color band areas that I've folded. Uh, we'll represent a nice kaleidoscope. So this, this area was only, this is one eighth of our overall sheet. And these three color bands are going to be the rings around our kaleidoscope. And then this outer area, we're going to put a few colors in and we're going to bleed some color through. It's very nice to use the same colors that you used in your kaleidoscope to bleed out through the outside, especially as you have a nice border from your kaleidoscope to the bleed with these three con uh, contrasting color bands.